welcome it's art club on a friday night and tonight we're doing old school art club we're gonna listen to the sketchbooker's friend audio just like in the olden days um so yeah we can be nostalgic about the beginning of art club together <laughs> i can see alice can fly is here helen's here let's add helen with helen hello martha lights how are you doing patricia beak ruby right lino so all the hardcore gang are here. Hey, Helen. Now then, our Katie. <laughs> Pardon? Now then, our Katie. Oh yeah, I haven't tuned into to Northern Yorkshire. <laughs> <laughs> now then, our Katie. <laughs> How you doing, love? <laughs> I've got the sketchbook as friend ready on my phone. So have I, but that's good. I, I trust you more than me to play it. Are you sure? I am sure. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. We'll so, see about that. We should explain what the sketchbooker's friend is for people who haven't experienced the delights yet. Yes, we're going back to old school days. So when we very first started Art Club, this is how we started, isn't it? Yeah. We used Sorry. to play the... You'll have to Sorry. speak because I'm eating a crisp. Put this back and I'll explain. <laughs> <laughs> So the, art, the sketchbook is friend it's an audio drawing guide that we made um and yeah that's how art club started because we were like should we like listen to the sketchbook as friend live on instagram and we did and everyone was like do it again next week and the rest is history so yeah. we should explain that we recorded the sketchbook as friend last march just like days before we went into lockdown and so um, Tanya, who is in the comments probably, hello Tanya. Tanya um, was already in lockdown, wasn't she? Because I can't remember why now. Anyway. She was taking seriously than us and she was like, we need to not see <laughs> their masks and things. And we were like, it'll be fine, we'll just stay home. <laughs> so we yeah. were in the same room recording and Tanya was recording by Zoom. And so you'll enjoy this audio because every time Tanya speaks she sounds like a robot from another dimension doesn't she yeah she keeps saying we need to change that we need to change that and we're like no it's fine do you know I just love it as a piece of good ship archive now it's like it's this this untouchable item that is just so hilarious and it brought so many people in regardless like it's got character of its own hasn't it I think it's had over 7,000 people listen to it now which is mad um mm. theme of things mm. yeah it's 15 minutes long and we'll play bits of it and then i just listened to it before we came on to remind myself which was a very funny experience did you go back in time in like a wibbly wobbly yeah. i did <laughs> we do talk quite a lot at the beginning so i might fast forward it until we start drawing i feel um, like it's one minute 30 is that right really Wow, that's clever. Do you know, I didn't even think about looking and timing it. Maybe I should leave you in charge of the... of the. Um, that's a guess. The number in from last spring. <laughs> I'll try it. Yeah. This is 1 minute 30, 36. That's Tanya sounding like a robot. And um, as I... And the walk to police, I mean, I'm very strict. And so rule number one is no phones. Don't take a photo and then sit at your desk I'll and fast forward a little bit. Copies, whatever you've got at hand. Try and be more conscious about what you're actually drawing. No. You know <laughs> what, Tanya, Tanya says something really good there, actually. It reminded me to talk about this. Is what She talks about um, about valuing a good line. And then that made me remember somebody I heard speak recently who hadn't been to art school. And when she did go to art school, they started talking about a good line. And she was like, well, I don't, what's a good line? But she didn't dare say, she didn't dare ask anybody. And over time, she kind of worked it out. And so I thought maybe we, Tanya does talk about it in the sketchbook as friend that like, um, the way that you hold your pencil can really affect the tension in the line. So say you hold it loosely in your fingers and you draw quite quickly then your line will be it'll sort of express confidence or it'll be smooth and relaxed but if you hold it quite tight and you you might purposely do this to put some tension in a drawing you might hold it quite tight 
it might be a paler line or maybe it's really really hard but all those things can you can use those to sort of express stuff in your drawing yes. which is really interesting isn't it and it's one of those things that they teach you at art school but they don't really give it an aim do they no like... not really you just Talk hear about. the words oh a lovely line bandied around and i use that all the time as well because i'm a really big fan of getting a lovely line that suits a drawing but yeah, it's good to explain it and think about it, isn't it? And I do use it in my work. When, when I'm illustrating a picture book and there's a part of the book that's sad or something, I do think about that. I'll kind of pull a sad face and think sad for thoughts and hold my pen in a sad way. A sad, <laughs> sad line. <laughs> that's so true. Mm -hmm. Martha says, was it Nadia Shireen? It was. It yeah. was. Because she's, she didn't do a degree, she went straight to do an MA. So she didn't study art until she went to the MA. And when she got to the MA, well, she didn't dare ask by then because everybody else seemed to know. And she felt like everybody had spot her as a fraud. And so she didn't dare mention it, which is so funny. It's lovely, isn't it? We've all done that before. Totally. It's, it's that thing when you're like, I should, I should know this already. I'll just not mention yeah. it. If no, I mention no. it, they'll chuck me out. Yeah. <laughs> Like, you don't know what a line is, get out, leave. Yeah, uh, yeah. Can I show you my <laughs> Guy is very exciting. Oh my goodness, is he wood? He's made of he's wood. Oh, he's so lovely, isn't he? So lovely. And you have a real passion for pigeons as well. Named this one Kevin in honour of the original <laughs> pigeon. Oh. oh, I still think I see him around town now and again. Cameron's made a stick to put the pigeon on. That's what he's coming to show. <laughs> a perch. Yeah, because he's got a hole in his bum. So can... <laughs> Anyways. Oh, that's good. Oh. I just saw oh, somebody got... say theme today, and that there's not really a theme, is there? We're just going to the old sketchbook as friend, and we're gonna. You use can that use again. What, any materials you want. Uh, the only rule is you have to draw from life, as as you just heard me in there saying, uh, "I am the walk to see police. You must draw from life." Um, I was very going to show cute. you this box that arrived this week. Look at this box. This looks very do exciting. Remember, do you remember at Art Club? Oh, I'm going to knock my ink over. Hang on. Do you remember at Art Club last week? I was saying, my mum does Chalky Friday for my niece and nephew. Where's my Chalky Friday? Why don't I get any chocolates on Friday? No, it doesn't matter that I'm 48 years old and live two hours away. This box <laughs> that no excuse. That's no excuse. <laughs> exactly. Well, this box <laughs> arrived. You got Chucky Friday? I think I should have shown you it a little earlier in the week because the chocolate is well and truly diminished now. <laughs> but it was full of chocolate. Chocolate! Absolutely full of chocolate. And not just that, but items to draw at uh, art club. So I've got a Pocchio in a car. You um, spoiled. A pram. Oh my goodness. A tractor. So I'm going to draw some of these things. They're brilliant. Aren't they? And if she thinks she's getting them back, she's much mistaken. Can I see your parents adopt me, please? If she's in the comments, you might see her. You can ask to be adopted. Um, <laughs> my mum's here sometimes too. She might adopt you. I don't know. I don't think my mum gives out chocolate, though. I, I got tights. So. Yeah, you got footless tights. That's yeah. Cool. I'd rather have chocolate, to be honest. <laughs> <That's so> useful. <laughs> Uh, anyway, I brought, um, I'm drawing on bits of packing paper out of my deliveries. I'm drawing out of packing paper as well. Oh, are you? Oh, brilliant. Film roll, corrugated cards. Ooh, that's good. I've got a choice of colours. I've got white and various shades of brown. Oh, nice. Yeah. I've I might go for the white. As well, but I don't know whether to open it and draw on it or just draw it. Well, yeah, it's quite nice to draw. Quite nice. And it could, we could add it to our repertoire of branding. Yeah, I've, I've got this that could add to our repertoire of branding for when oh. we open our very niche typography design company. <laughs> what, what, what's our range so far? I've forgotten. I, Maltese I... are on there. Oxo. Yeah, I, I do Maltesers. What do you do? I do, um, I think I had an Oxo tin one, one oh, week. Oh, yeah. And then Tanya just does the rest, doesn't she? Everything else. <laughs> she just prefers all the jobs with Tanya. Really. <laughs> hey, look at Kevin. Kevin, you can... 
<laughs> That's all. He's brilliant. Oh. You're so happy. Oh, you're frozen, Katie. Oh no, you got a spinning oh, wheel. Oh, you're back. back again. Yeah. You. Right. Yeah. Who's in charge of the sketchbook as friend? I think I might be close to the beginning of it, so I'll, I'll okay. rewind a little bit. Because that was Tanya sort of coaching in the beginning, wasn't it? Number two. I think the first drawing session is really short, like 30 seconds or something, isn't it? Really short, yeah. I should read the transcript and that would tell me when things are, but why would I make my life easy? <laughs> copy a picture of your cupboard or draw content. Yeah, in the sketchbook as friend, we tell everybody to draw the contents of their cupboard, but we don't bother with that now, do we? No, that got boring very quickly. <laughs> Mm. Don't go to and finish your later, that's not allowed. Uh, rule number two, wrong material, which means there's no such thing as the right material. Use whatever you've got at hand. Try and be more conscious about what you're actually drawing. The, the lines that you draw when you push a pencil upwards are very different from the lines you would draw if you, if you let your line drift downwards, so it's a much softer line. So be really conscious of the different tension from your mental line when you're drawing. You also want to think about the size of your sketchbook. We also understand that at the moment, so they take more bits of paper on, add to it, and you, and you have a printer paper and a viral line, you can clip it all together, and it can be a really raw, unembarrassed sketchbook. When do we begin all the time drawing? So don't work on your drawings so long that you completely take all the life out of the, out of the drawing. Have a word with yourself before you're finished. Try and finish before you think Fast forward me shouting at everybody. <laughs> don't have that sense of um, Another tip get on the spot in the doorway so you're in everybody's Get in everybody's room. way, that's a good tip. Um, that's one, one of my top tips. We're working it and taking out all the life. If you've got your code, you're going to draw a sense of urgency. So when you find it... Whenever I had a really long... Something about the... <laughs> Where's the beginning? That was mine. <laughs> Do you know what, Katie? I we think we should give up and set the timer. <laughs> the beginning. This is why we start. We can, we can call this a failure and let's just set the timer. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to listen to more of that, it's on our... <laughs> How can anybody resist it? <laughs> We've oh, sold it. No. Right. <laughs> I'm setting the timer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is so good. Right. Okay. <laughs> we gave it a try. Right. Yeah. We've got two minutes. Are you ready? Well, he says, I remember why you stopped doing this now. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> me too. <laughs> I can't believe people kept coming back. I know. <laughs> we set the bar nice and <laughs> <I'm ready. laughs> Yeah, we did. <laughs> right, okay. Two minutes. Are you ready? Let's go. Go. Two minutes. Two minutes. Okay. I'm going drawing with a stick. Oh, nice. I've got a green felt tip pen that I found in the cottery drawer. Oh, the ink is being really, really absorbed into the paper to the point where it's actually a bit annoying. Oh, oh. Never mind. Looking it all up. Yeah, if I'd thought ahead, I would have found out when the beginning is, but I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. We've had a taster. We've had a taster. Do you know, it is better than it sounds on there. I think part of the problem is that we're listening to it through a phone at the same time. Because yeah. it is actually quite good. We do say some very wise things. It's 50 <laughs> pure wisdom. <Yeah>. <laughs> I like the bits that we edited out where I got the giggles. And then I had to say my bit and I'd shout them incredibly <laughs> loud because I'd just been laughing my eyes off. <laughs> 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 so anyway. <laughs> <Yeah>. oh, <dear. laughs> it happens on the podcast. 
sometimes too like our volume levels get adjusted yeah it's me <laughs> I get really, I get really excited and start shouting. I just can't help it. <laughs> I can't wait to do another podcast. We should do some more soon. Oh, we should get that. Let's put some dates in the diary and record some more because I've got loads of good ideas. Yes, definitely, definitely. We all have. Somebody sent a good question about scanning. All that kind of stuff about how to scan your artwork and manipulate it on Photoshop and Affinity and stuff. We should do one about that, about digital art and, you know, transferring your drawing to a digital drawing. That'd be a good subject, wouldn't it? Yeah, we could have a lot, because we all, we realise we're all working in different ways, didn't we? So we all have a different thing to say about that. Mm. I didn't get very far with mine. No, me either. My, my biscuit bag didn't work. Ooh, I like the Back pink one. I see what you mean about the absorbent paper. You can see it's very, very absorbent. This is I wonder how everybody else's word, um, drawings went. How did you all get on with the first one? Oh, everyone's saying yes, please, to more podcasts. Good. That's yeah, good. Brilliant. Okay. Okay. What do you think? Four minutes? Yeah, four minutes would be good. Okay. Right, are you ready? Kathy says, was it two minutes? It was, it was a fast two minutes. It felt fast. Two minutes. Mm. Let's right. go. Let's go. Time has started. This is Buffy's drawing some daffodils. Oh, Nadge's, Nadge Beg is drawing daffodils too. Oh, Hi, Tanya. Hi, Tanya. I just saw Tanya in the comments there. Hey. Again. <laughs> the brown paper is sort of making me just without deciding to I've gone for negative space drawing because the paper's brown and I've got some almost white paint on my palette from last time I used it oh nice that I'm looks like so negative pretty. space that is very pleasing as well to do yeah, it is. I've lost my way a bit on it. I'm going to have to jump around the picture and find where I am. <laughs> I have a, an urge this weekend to go out and draw people. Well, um, Jerry went over to, to the green shop today to buy our weekly supply, supply of bread from the nice, from the fresh supply of bread at the green shop today. And he said that the town was as busy as if it wasn't lockdown, so you might be you might be in luck. You might be able to find people in town. Well, that would be good. I mean, ideally, I would have a cafe, but that's not really allowed. Yeah. You could sit on the town hall steps. That'd be a good vantage point. Oh, it would actually. You'd be out of everybody's see. way. And I can spy on everyone from above. Yeah. Yeah, what got me thinking about that was uh, our energy supplier, Bulb, have really nice illustrations on the emails and stuff. And I was like, I wonder who does these illustrations because they're so nice. Yeah. They're, all, they're all swishy and animated and 
Ah. I found the artist and it says Lady in Berlin. This lady who lives in Berlin. I can't remember her name because I'm trying to go yeah. Um and she had a reportage illustration section on her website and I was like, oh, oh, yeah. nice. Yeah. <laughs> But to grow up inspired again yeah that's nice it's good when that happens especially if it's a kind of su surprise inspiration that just arrives one day out of the blue yeah i feel like i've not felt like that in ages because of lockdown yeah i've just been working not doing seeing how much time's on the timer oh no one second oh dear oh i really seriously mistimed this oh <laughs> <laughs> I've the... hardly done anything, it's just like a series of blobs. I might carry on on the next drawing actually. I won't tell anyone if you want. Oh, nice blobs though. Yeah, nice blobs. <laughs> nice blobs. <laughs> oh, look at Kevin. No, oh, oh, that's good. Mm. This is a very pleasing block of um, cardboard. <laughs> <laughs> Crafty says, wear jogging bottoms so you can claim to be exercising. Hmm. Good idea. <laughs> I'll wiggle my legs if anybody says anything. <laughs> <laughs> how long Oops. was that one? Bahari Pana says, how long was that one? Is it four minutes? If it was, it flew by. Was it four It was minutes? a fast. Uh, the two minutes felt fast too. I think it's mm. just one of them. It was four minutes, but it just flew by. Yeah. Tyler says, do you get good people view from your school? Yeah, I can see the taxi drivers actually. They're quite fun to draw because they can see them on their phones in the car. <laughs> How do you simple? Oh, it's gone. How do you simplify something complex like a house plant for two or four minute drawings? You've just got to not think too hard about it and think, right, I'm just going to get this down, which is not what I did. I'm telling you that, but I didn't do that on that last drawing. It was a theory. You just panic and get as much down as you possibly can. And it's that that gives the drawing a lovely quality because you're kind of unconscious and you don't fall into old habits. You can't be too perfectionist about it. Um, yeah. That's why we do art club, isn't it? Try and get rid of those perfectionist tendencies, break bad habits. Yeah, he's got to get stuck in and get with it, hope for mm. the best. And then sometimes they are really terrible, and sometimes you surprise yourself and you're like, oh, oh. But, oh I don't know where that came from. Yeah, then this is when you might discover a nice line. You might discover a way of working or a line that you really love, and then you could take that into your illustration work as well. Yes. And Tanya said squint as well. Squint's a good one. Or take your glasses off if you wear glasses. Mm. Yeah, all good tips. Right. I'm going to carry on with this drawing. I know it's against the rules, but I oh, didn't get anywhere with it, so I'm going to carry on. Should we do a five minute? Ooh, good idea. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Go. Go. <clears throat> I'm going to do a continuous line. Oh, yeah. I might have to use my hairdryer in a minute. I know it's antisocial. Well, it's exciting to but... use hairdryer. That's when it's a real art club. <laughs> <laughs> I like to think of people just joining <laughs> and then they just get on the live call and it's just <laughs> somebody with a hairdryer. <laughs> <laughs> with what's going on. <laughs> Look, what is the good ship? <laughs> right, hair dryer time now. Yeah, let's get our viewing fi get our viewing figures up with a hair dryer. <laughs> Okay. They've oh. got a few more people have joined. Really? Yeah. <laughs> so two people have experience that I was hoping for. <laughs> Bewilderment. An intrigue. I didn't hear what you said. It's glitched, I think. Oh, no. Uh, bewilderment and intrigue. That's what those people would have felt joining. <laughs> <laughs> I 
That's a good combination. <laughs> Tanya says, no tiny tips. Oh, yeah. No, <laughs> she said no tiny tips, but she means painting with a big brush. Ah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Anya yeah, just arrived. The theme tonight is just anything you like, Anya. Yeah. Anything you want, as long as it's from life. Whatever's in front of you, whatever's in your room. Ah, this one is um, very odd. Oh, I can't wait to start the next one now. I wish I'd ditched this one now. Oh, no. Yeah. Never mind. Uh, how long have we got left? A very painful one minute, 30 <laughs> seconds left. <laughs> Good. Okay. <laughs> I just love this pigeon so much. Have you just got the pigeon? Yeah, uh, yesterday. So it's our first day together. <laughs> In the honeymoon phase, you see. He'll never replace the actual Kevin, though. Oh, the actual Kevin was amazing. But for context, if you weren't around when Kevin was on the scene, he was a, a racing pigeon got poorly and sort of lived on my doorstep for about two weeks and I went out and fed him sunflower seeds and he would sit on the windowsill. Oh, it was he amazing. Was amazing. He was right yeah, for ages, wasn't he? Yeah, but then one day he was gone. And, like, oh, and I even had a ring on his leg and I had a number and I went on the website of pigeons and uh, found the phone number for his, for his pigeon dad. Um, and and the man was like, oh, well, can you drive him down to where I live? <laughs> I was like, I'm not bringing a pigeon in my car. How far away did he live? I think it was Derby. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> um, you but could yeah. have just said, you could have put your meter on and charged a taxi fare all the way to Derby. <laughs> that would have been a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> but in the end, I just left it. And, um... There we are, time out. <sighs> that went fast. Um, but yeah, it went in, very slow for me. It was very painful. Was it slow and painful? Yeah. I like that. I like the pram. The colour over here, it all got a bit muddled and lost. <laughs> very lumpy. <laughs> Look at his eye. Wow. Really see. It's beautiful in real life. <laughs> Oh, somebody says, I'm from Derby. I don't have pigeons, though. Oh, it wasn't you then. <laughs> <laughs> Where is he now? <laughs> I might <All> draw. Right. <clears throat> you I might think what? I'm, I think I'm going to draw something different next. Hmm. I can't decide what to do. I think the paper, I'm finding the paper irritating because I've got this lamp on. Hmm. So the light is from one source and I've got shadows all over the paper and it's driving me slightly bonkers. Um, no. Mm -hmm. Literally, I'm looking around. Hang on. Aha! Aha, ha, 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 ha. I've got yeah. some smooth paper. Yeah. So in this light is going to be easier to work on. I'm going to use that. Good idea. I was hmm. going to... Is it Art Club rules to use your iPad? To draw with? I don't know. Yeah, why not? Yeah, why Quite not? Controversial, but I might try mm. it. Mm. Why not? 
do it myself. I use my iPad to draw from life sometimes, do you? Yeah, it's, it feels weird though, doesn't it? Mm. I, I find it too small. I think it's because whenever I do it, I do it when I'm in the house. And yeah. I usually try and draw somebody sat. If I'm sat on the sofa, I'll try and draw somebody sat in the armchair or something. And it, it just scale-wise, it's a bit small. Yeah, it doesn't have the same feel. Mm. We'll try. Yeah. Oh, it's like glowing my face. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, there's Noodle and Bean says, any tips on not being such a perfectionist? Yes. Art club, time yeah. drawings. You're yeah. comfortable. Draw with stuff you're not comfortable with. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, if you join in drawing, then you don't have a chance to be a perfectionist because you have to obey the timer or we'll know. We can mm -hmm. we can tell if you're... um if, Right. <laughs> Right. So why is okay. not do these classes? And Norlina is wise. So. <laughs> right. What about seven minutes? That sounds good. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to press start now. Go. Okay. This is exciting. I feel naughty. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody tell anyone what I'm doing. Oh, that's weird. Oh, all right. I didn't put the lid on this paint stick. And it's dried up so much that I can't even draw with it. I no, didn't know that it... would happen. Wow. wow. I might need to chop. I'm going to chop the end off it. I'm not used to using this one. Okay. Oh, no. Still doesn't. All right. Give up. Give up on that one. <laughs> Abandon. <laughs> oh, do you see now I'm messing around with paints? Stop it. I'll use. The old faithful. This definitely feels like cheating. Are you, are you on the iPad? Yeah. It feels like cheating, does it? It totally feels like cheating because I can undo, I can resize. Ah, oh, that is cheating. Yeah, you're not allowed to do any undoing. Oh, nobody tell her <laughs> <laughs> Haven't done any undoing at all, promise. <laughs> Katie. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, seven minutes is quite a nice long time, isn't it? Yeah, it is. concentrate and we've gone very quiet oh yes this is about the actually um it would be interesting to go through art clubs and see what time it is this happens but i'm pretty sure it's always 34 minutes in. <laughs> is it yeah 36 <laughs> and we're both just slipping to a little drawing coma we need to get somebody to time it for us yeah <laughs> well yeah, we need somebody with a notepad and a timer and do a scientific experiment. Yeah, purely for science. Yep. Oh, <laughs> 
That's my stick. Got lovely green eyes. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking to my pigeon, Helen. Oh, Katie. Do you have green eyes? No. <laughs> <laughs> But these are things you should know, Katie. I'm very hurt now. I know, I'm sorry. I haven't gazed loving. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long time. <laughs> I need to put your screen in Zoom so I can see better. <laughs> <laughs> this morning I woke up at half past five, which is quite normal for me. I always but... wake up really early. And it's really good because I get my choice of TV from about from half five in the morning <laughs> until um, until the rest of the house get up, usually about half eight. And this morning I put on, it's called The Last Igloo. Have you seen it? Haven't. What's it's on BBC iPlayer. It is incredible. It's about it's... this guy. He's an Inuit. He lives in Greenland. Greenland? No, where would he, where does he, oh no, I'm showing my ignorance now and I watched a whole programme about it and I can't remember. Anyway, he, a... he is one of the last people going seal hunting and living off the land, off the ice. So he's been a proper Inuit. Yeah, and the way it's filmed is incredible. There are really long, quiet moments of just watching, like, washing blowing in the wind and at night so there's this lovely night scene of some washing on a line just blowing in the wind oh my god it's incredible and it's all it's just all about his kind of journeys to try and catch things because most of their diet is from things that they catch themselves and um so soothing the whole second half of the program he's just building an igloo and we just watch just watch him with this huge huge knife um carving these blocks to build this igloo oh it's incredible i'm gonna watch it again it's on iplayer still i was gonna say what channel is that on good old iplayer yeah bbc iplayer <laughs> you know at christmas time yeah <laughs> just bought a telly for the first time ever. um and my stepmom was like oh you've got a telly now there's this thing if you log on it's called bbc iplayer <laughs> <laughs> How do you think I'd be watching telly? For the <laughs> Brilliant. Wow. That's how I run and joke now. Oh, that's <laughs> nice of her. <laughs> you might have heard of it. <laughs> the, ig the Last Igloo. The Last Igloo. Really recommend it. Brilliant. Ah! Oh, no. I was really getting into that way. I was so carried away remembering The Last Igloo that I forgot about the timer again. Again. Mm. It was very fun using an iPad, even though it did feel like cheating. Ah, oh, very nice. Got access to all my colours and my pens without having to move. I'm actually watching you on the iPad, so if I were to try and draw on it, everything would go wrong. You get very <laughs> close up, me really concentrating. Very close up. You'd be like on the iPad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. Some good splodges. <laughs> What's that bit in the background? Is that the actual background of your house? The square bit? What's that? Ah, oh, nice. It's a tin with circus stuff on it. So cool. And, and my sailor is sat on some yeah, of the top of the it. Was, uh, somebody <laughs> pop up questions. Or oh, somebody, it was oh. Tanya doing that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, lovely colours. Can you share a of Kevin on your page. Oh, yeah. I might have made a highlight of him. I think he's in my highlights because I was very obsessed. I often see loads of pigeons sat on the new bridge. I always try and study them all, try and see if Kevin's there. But when there's like 200 pigeons, it's hard to be certain which one's him. Yeah, you can't. It's quite hard to see. He was especially handsome, though. So the one that's really <laughs> a specimen of a pigeon. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh wow, Holly's drawing a cupboard. Proper old school style. Oh yeah. Classic sketchbook is friend style. Yes, amazing. 
Right. Let's do another one. Let's do another one. We've only got 20 minutes left. Should we do a 10 minute one? Ooh, yeah, let's do another one. Okay. Uh, Get ready. Go. Ooh. Oops, I moved my camera. On. I wish I had my um, graphite stuff. I don't know where it is. Thank you. We found a dead seal on the beach today. Oh no. Yeah, perfectly, perfectly cut in half. It was only the back half of the body. Oh wow. Yeah, so Jerry was saying that the only thing that would attack a seal and actually be able to chop it in half like that must be an orca. You reckon? Yeah, you do get them off the coast here. Yeah, there's like yeah. a chomp of it and then it's just drifted yeah. to the beach. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Did Peggy try to in it? Oh, Katie, she rolled in it before I could do anything about it. Oh, <laughs> God, she stank so bad. Uh, my mum's dog does that, rolls in dead things on the beach. It's so gross. Oh, yeah, she just loves it. She absolutely <laughs> loves it. So I had She's to like, bring her home, get her in the shower and straight away. <laughs> oh, a bit. It's fumigate that dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, she does love it though. She loves it. Something smelly. And what she really likes to do is then come home and rub it all over the sofa. Oh no. Yeah, or around my legs so that I smell like that. I think she thinks it's nice. Like she looks so happy when she's doing it. She genuinely thinks, Oh, I make Helen smell a dead seal. She love me for this. <laughs> you can smell just as bad as me. <laughs> <It's> together. <laughs> We've been having trouble with Peggy not sleeping and it's been going on for a while now. We couldn't work out why, like, like she was all, she all, Peggy the dog, this is the dog, she always slept. Yeah. We've, had her, we've had her for, oh, maybe five years and her nighttime routine has gone out the window, I don't know why, it's just been a bit of a nightmare for a few months now. Oh. And uh, anyway, 
um, I was talking to my friend about it and she said, do you put her in pyjamas? And I said, well, no, obviously <laughs> not. <laughs> and she said, try pyjamas. That might fix it. No. And so, yes, we have now tried pyjamas <laughs> and for two nights in a row, she has slept like a log. And even when I go to wake her up in the morning, she won't get up. You're joking. <laughs> I'm not joking. <laughs> I think she was old then. <laughs> she must have been. She does have quite thin fur. Um, her fur is really very thin. But it's always been like that and she used to sleep. But she must have just... I don't know. I don't know what's going on. But anyway, yeah. <laughs> That's she's got... Hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I love oh. the... Like, oh yeah, pyjamas, I'll sort it. <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird. God, I can't believe I'm a person whose dog wears pyjamas. I just can't believe it. <laughs> I'm going to tell everyone. Then's <laughs> <laughs> dog wears pyjamas. It's true. <laughs> you know what Peggy needs? Peggy needs a weighted blanket. If, if... Oh my goodness, she probably does. I yeah, would love that because... I wasn't not sleeping, but now I'm sleeping even better than I was. Really? Yeah. Wow. Maybe I should try it. It is like being nicely squashed. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> nicely squashed. <laughs> <laughs> not unpleasantly squashed. <laughs> In Angela Brooks says, or Brook, Brooks Bank Brooks says, what are the PJs made of? Yes, good question. What are they? Are they cotton? Is that Angela Brooks Bank? Brook, Brooks Bank. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she's my pal. What the other, so what we've done is we've improvised pyjamas because we didn't, weirdly, we didn't have any dog pyjamas in the house. I so, <laughs> <laughs> so what we're doing is, I, I you don't tell anybody this, but one day I was walking past a skip and I found, um, <laughs> I found a builder's like jacket, you know, like a, a fluorescent jacket. Oh yeah. And um, so I took the jacket out of the skip, brought it home and made Peggy a little fluorescent jacket, which she always wears when we go for a walk. Anyway, when I got the jacket home, it had loads of tools in the pocket. And then I thought, oh, no, I think the builder just put it in the skip while he was busy and I nicked it. <laughs> anyway, we'll gloss over that bit. So I made Peggy a jacket from a stolen, like a, a little outdoors jacket from a stolen builder's coat. Um, that's all we had. So at the moment, she's wearing like a builder's fluorescent coat to bed. But um, <laughs> I went on Etsy and found some actual dog pyjamas made of fleece. Oh, she's so got I've ordered those. That's like the creme de la creme. De la creme. I'll, I'll post a picture once. A pie was really begging me that she would have matching pyjamas. Oh, but yeah. we, couldn't, we couldn't find any that matched, so she just had to go for fleece. You know what, Pi should be awesome. That would be a good project. Yeah, we should want. Yeah, we should do that. And then you can you could have a whole family. You could all be wearing matching pajamas. Oh my goodness! Yeah, yeah. yeah go hard or go home. We need to go for that. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Jerry keeps going. He keeps saying. She is a wolf. This is terrible. It's disgraceful. <laughs> She's a wolf. <laughs> what, what is going on? And I keep saying, yeah, but this doesn't help. When you say she's a wolf, that doesn't mean that now she's going to sleep through the night because you've declared a truth. <laughs> she's still going to wake us up in the night and we've still got to solve it. Yeah. It's <laughs> worth having a good night's sleep. If they... <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> wolf or not. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so today she rolled in the dead seal, so I brought her back, gave her a shower. And then she started shivering after it. So then I wrapped her up in a blanket and put her on the sofa, wrapped up in loads of blankets. And he, Jerry came in going, wolf, she's supposed to be a wolf. What are you doing? <laughs> a pampered, delicate wolf. <laughs> Living her best. <laughs> oh, God. It's so weird what you end up doing in your life, isn't it? It is. <laughs> Noodles and beans says, a wolf in a fluorescent builder's jacket. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, God. It's what the builder would have wanted. <laughs> <laughs> I keep expecting that we'll be out for a walk one day and a builder will go, hey! <laughs> 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 oh, God. <laughs> oh, dear. 
see. In fact, I think I might know which builder it is. And oh. he's coming to fix our roof soon, so I better not let him see Peggy wearing a jacket. <laughs> <laughs> there we are, time is up. Yay. <sighs> what type of dog is Peggy? Mm. She's a curly one. She's a Bedlington Terrier, which is a grey curly terrier, mixed with a Patterdale. So she's like, yeah, she looks kind of like a Bedlington, only the really poor, um, like, um, scruffy cousin of the Bedlington. It's she's great. like the Bedlington's maid servant, a scruffy <laughs> urchin. A scruffy poodle. <laughs> Oh, How's your drawing gone? It was good. I drew some little um, statue things we've got. Oh, look at those. The guy's got a really good face, hasn't he? Mr. and Mrs. He looks, he looks like somebody. Who does he look like? Oh. There's mine. Ooh, nice shadowy thing on. And the swan. Swan logo's got, we've got that on. Yeah, cracked it with the swan vesta logo. Absolute perfection, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, let's talk. Peggy isn't eavesdropping. Mm. <laughs> and Kit B says, Can you make her a little dressing gown? <gasps> yes, you oh, should. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. This is just the best excuse to dress your dog up in all sorts of crazy <laughs> stuff, isn't it? She won't sleep otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We've only got eight minutes left. We've got time for a speedy drawing and then our 10 second animals. Amazing, let's do it. A speedy one and then a really speedy one. Two options, speedy or speedy. <laughs> oh, I've got my bingo dabber. I've forgotten about bingo dabbers for a while. I've got my bingo dabber. I might use that now. Yes. Peggy will be ready right. when the pubs reopen. Fab under blacklight. <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>. Oh, good. <laughs> Everyone's really enjoying this idea of dressing Peggy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, when her pyjamas arrive, I'll take a photo and post it on Instagram so you can see. I want a carousel, I want a video, I want a live of Peggy. <laughs> Once I've made matching pyjamas for me and Jerry and Pi and Peggy, <laughs> and you maybe as well, Katie, I'm, I'm we'll a... get a photo. <laughs> we can have a Christmas card. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brilliant. Okay. What about uh, a three minute? Yeah, that'll take us to 56 and then we'll do a quick one. Yeah, okay. Cool. Get ready, go. I'm gonna draw this grumpy man sitting in my living room. <laughs> Does he mind? He just stuck his up at me. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's enjoying it. <laughs> he's smiling. <laughs> Please draw him with a big toothy grin. All the teeth and everything. Do you watch the um, Lego program on uh, Channel 4? I do not. What's oh, all, all these fam families or friends um, have like little teams and then they, they get challenged. It's like Bake Off, only it's building stuff out of Lego. Oh, wow. And um, the, the last one I watched, they were challenged to, to make... Johnny Vegas sat as a life model and they had to build him out of Lego. <laughs> oh, it was so funny. It was absolutely brilliant. The one that won was, um, I think it was a child and a dad. I've forgotten now who the team were, but they made the most incredible model of him. There's some amazing Lego things, isn't there? Oh, I love Lego. It made us get our Lego box back out again. <laughs> I love it. I've not played with Lego in ages. That Maybe was... we need to do an art club Lego now. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Lego art club. 
It just reminds me of being really bored being a nanny. <laughs> being like, no, no. Oh, really? Oh, no. Forced Lego, that's not good. Yeah, forced Lego in the afternoon when you just want to have be having a nap. That you've got that's to be. the hardest time looking after little kids, isn't it? Like uh, three, four, five o'clock, it's, it's painful. Yeah. When they're really little. Especially when they stopped having naps themselves and then you go have a nap. Oh, that was <laughs> agony. That was, oh, it was one of the worst times of my life when Pi decided she wasn't having an afternoon nap anymore. <laughs> it was awful. Did you try and convince her otherwise? I was always doing Like, are you sure you don't want to have a nap? We'll have a yeah. Little, we'll have a little try. Try for a nap. <laughs> <laughs> I would end up like lying down myself and bringing biscuits up that so that she'd lie beside me and eat biscuits while I tried to snooze but even that didn't work <laughs> I actually couldn't get defeat in the end <laughs> it's quite a good idea though <laughs> I just ate the biscuits yeah <laughs> oh, oh no ah, it's already up I'm gonna carry on just for a little while because me things too. were going great around here yeah I was having a really good time I'm going to just do like a speedy 30 second tractor. I know I'm breaking all the rules. <laughs> if we're both, oh. it's all right, isn't it? We'll both go into prison. Yeah, it's fine. There we are. Right, I think I'm, I think I'm done. Making the laptop bigger. That'll do. That'll do. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, 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 okay. I really want to watch the Lego program. That's Pippa Alice. Yeah, it's probably. Uh, I always make Lego robots when I have art block. It's always good to have something like that. If you can't start work and there's something stopping you, it's good to have a little, I don't know, something that is kind of cre creative, but not drawing it's a low hanging fruit isn't it when it's easy stuff mm, yeah the grumpy man <laughs> <laughs> i like his little finger curled round <laughs> <laughs> this is mine it's a bit drippy Ooh, nice pram swan Bester, tractor that pram is so pleasing it is it's very nice to draw such a nice shape we've timed it perfectly we've got two minutes I have. Right, okay. Ten second animal. I'm going to get one of my pieces of packing paper. Right, okay. So, ten second animal is where somebody chooses an animal, everybody chooses an animal, writes their animal in the comments, I set the timer for 10 seconds, and as soon as Katie shouts it out, we start drawing. Before you do, do a Google search, before your brain even gets into action, we just draw it. Fluorescent <laughs> <laughs> coat, that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> I need something to draw with that's fast. Uh, I'm seeing lots of good animals, keep shouting them out. I'm enjoying this. <clears throat> In one I like. I'm starting to want them all. Huh? So, I'm starting to wonder, like, have we, have we done this? Yeah, I can't <laughs> remember what we've done, but we haven't now. Right, I've got my paint stick ready, I've got my timer ready. Okay. Oh, Ollie said donkey, we're not doing donkey. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Just because I know how to do donkeys. Yeah, you're a donkey expert. I'm not making it easy. <laughs> <laughs> On your marks. Get set. What are we doing? Guinea, Guinea pig. Guinea so. pig. Oh, I've done a bloody hamster. Okay, time's up. Oh. Paper, so you can't even see it, but it's <laughs> ah, it's very hamstery. It's very ha oh, oh, I love it. <laughs> Look at his little legs. <laughs> oh dear, it's got a face a bit like a bat. <laughs> it has a, like a fruit bat. bat face, pig legs, and <laughs> bumblebee stripes. <laughs> love. Oh, let's do another one. 
Okay, one more. This let me go back because there was a billion good animal ideas. Oh, this is a good one. Right. Hang on a minute, I get the timer ready. Okay, okay. we're ready. Bunny get set. Millipede. Millipede. <laughs> <laughs> a millie's a hundred, isn't it? So you've got to draw. <laughs> that was a good one. I enjoyed that one. I can't wait to see everybody's millipedes. <laughs> oh, Ooh, look at that. That's brilliant. Oh, I love him. Look at his little happy face as well. Here he goes across the page. <laughs> yes. That was <laughs> I think <laughs> was it last week oh. about us making a tea towel with all the ten second animals on? Yeah, we've we've got to arrange that at some point, haven't we? Yeah, I think that we was... should get everybody to send their ten second animals. Choose all of the, you know, one for each letter of the alphabet, and make a tea towel at Christmas or something. What? It'd be brilliant. <laughs> I've lost a lid for my paint stick, and last time I did that, my red dried out. Oh well, it will turn up, won't it? Right. If everybody could just hang on while I find it. <laughs> we'll help you look. <laughs> just me look. Oh, as always. You can do It was that. a brilliant night. Thank you everybody for coming along. Oh. Don't forget to take a picture of your artwork and share it on hashtag goodshipillo. And take a photo of your mess and share it with the hashtag art club aftermath so we can admire how messy your room is. Yeah. Lovely. Hey, oh, and if you wanted to listen to the recording that we tried to play at the beginning, there's a link in our profile. It's called The Sketchbooker's Friend. And it is good. It's just not It's good. much better than we made it sound. <laughs> Promise. <laughs> Oh, brilliant. Bye. Thanks, everybody. Bye, Tanya. Bye, Katie. Bye, Tanya. Bye. Bye. Bye.